Hi, it's Chanda Cooper from the Richland County Conservation Division and the Richland Soil and Water Conservation District. It turns out that this beautiful yellow flower, a partridge pea, is a great plant to add to the home landscape. Let's learn more about it from Anne Marie Johnson. So Anne Marie, what is this beautiful yellow plant? What we have here, Chanda, is something the bumblebees really, really like. And you'll find it kind of interesting that the flower has just got pollen in it, but not the nectar. So what is this? Well, this is a partridge pea. This is one of our annual natives. It likes a medium to dry soil, sandy, um, can go all the way to clay. It seems to really like this kind of sandy soil that we like here. And boy, it is a real crackerjack for this hot summer, keeps on blooming from say end of June into September. It reseeds really easily, which you kind of got to watch out for a little bit if you've got a garden that you don't want a lot of things running crazy in. But it's a super good food for game birds and songbirds in the winter time. But anyways, let me get back to that story about where the nectar's hiding on this plant. Down at the base of the leaf, is where the nectar is. So it's not actually in the flower. They're coming after the pollen in the beautiful yellow flower. You'll see all kinds of things using this plant. There'll be ants, there'll be wasps, all going after that nectar right at the base of the leaf. It's a great plant. It's in the legume family, so it's fixing nitrogen in the soil, and it is a real beauty in a pollinator garden and highly sought after by bees. Super. Makes a great combination with the blanket flower that's also another annual, sort of long-lived annual, maybe a little bit of a perennial. Right here, different flower shapes. So you get different flower shapes. Always are great for diversity of bees. Try these out in your summer pollinator garden. I think you'll like them. Richland County's Pollinator Demonstration Garden is funded in part by an Urban Agriculture Conservation Grant from the National Association of Conservation Districts. Some funding was provided by the USDA Natural Resources Conservation Service. That's all for today. Thanks for visiting. Stay tuned for our next episode.